the biggest challenges in home renovation can be figuring out how to blend existing and new design elements seamlessly. We'll show you how to do that on today's SoFlo Home Project. Welcome to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra. Today we're going to be touring one of my latest design projects. In this project, what we did was merge both existing and new design elements to create one beautiful, unified look. And one way to do that is with color. This 6,000 square foot home has five bedrooms, five bathrooms, and two powder rooms. It has been completely updated with a common design color theme. So in this beautiful home, there was a pretty extensive renovation that was done before we ended up finishing and furnishing everything as well. So I wanted to talk a little bit about working with existing design elements when you are renovating. So here we were keeping the main floor, which is a beautiful cream colored marble. So that was going to be our palette for the entire space that we had to match new design elements to work with. What we did here, starting with the kitchen, we actually kept the existing cabinet boxes. That gave us an opportunity to change the doors, the door style, the hardware, also the cabinet finish. So a completely new kitchen without ripping the entire kitchen out. When we were starting this process, we're working with this beautiful floor, but we have to make it all work. So countertops are always the thing that I love to choose first, especially if you're thinking about doing something bold and eye-catching with a pop of color. And this quartzite, certainly does that and it certainly set the tone for the entire kitchen. So starting with this stone, we then were able to pick out some of the coloration in there to match a new color for the cabinetry. So that brought us to this sort of slightly darker than the floor putty color that complemented the whole look. Gave it a lightness, gave it a brightness without doing white cabinets. From here, we pulled from the gold tones in the veining and that gave us our finished color for all the faucets light fixtures, and cabinet hardware. So sometimes it's that one element in a room that really can connect an entire design. Now, often when you're working with boulder stones, sometimes you don't wanna put it everywhere because it could be a little bit overpowering. So in this case, we chose to give it the biggest main focus of the island, as well as the full height backsplash by the stone. And then we decided to balance it out with the softer man-made quartz and engineered quartz here on the perimeter of the kitchen. And what I love about this is this also connects that floor color. It's that lighter cream, so again, bringing the design together. So this green stone was the driving color palette for the entire open family room. So let me show you how we connected the rest of that. So the kitchen being open to the family room allowed us to kind of come up with one color palette that worked with the existing floor and kind of lived throughout the space. So the tones of green in the counter connected with the upholstery we brought on the backs of these counter stools. And then from there, we focused on family room furnishings. So as you see in the kitchen, we started with the countertop to kind of bring our color palette together. Using the same colors, we chose a bold area rug. That is another great way when furnishing a room to kind of pull out additional colors to round out the space. So those colors were picked up in the artwork, in the rest of the pillows, more cream accents, and all of the accessories. We also have a breakfast nook right across from here where we continue to bring in softer and lighter variations of the green tones. So within one bolder color like the counter, we kind of took that and bought in some soft aquas, different shades of green, the warmer tans, the cream. So it kind of blended into this really nice serene palette. You can continue to connect with color in the spaces in different shades as long as they all relate to one pattern. And in this room, it sets the tone for the rest of the house. Coming up, the importance of continuous design flow in an open floor plan on SoFlo Home Project. Today we're gonna to show you beautiful windows that we've done to this home. Come see this incredible installation on this beautiful home. Up next on SoFlo Home Project, Starting 
Starting in two weeks and throughout college football season, SoFlo Home Project will air Sunday afternoons at 5.30. So make a mental note or set your DVR starting September 10th, SoFlo Home Project, Sundays at 5.30 on the one and only Local 10. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra, and we are continuing to tour this beautiful home that we have updated using some existing elements and a lot of new ones. So this particular home underwent a large scale renovation and in the formal living room, it was no different than what you've seen in the family room and kitchen. Steps away from the kitchen, we find the formal living room. This space was updated with an elegant color palette that connects with other areas of the home. First and foremost, when designing this room to give it some continuity to the rest of the spaces, we wanted to be able to have some continuous color elements. The floor was existing, so we're working again with this beautiful polished cream marble that was here throughout the first floor of the home. So bringing in the cream tones, and here are some warmer gold tones, just a hint warmer than what you saw in the family room, brings that continuity. So similar to what we did in the kitchen and family room, here, the connecting color element for the palette was the rug. I love starting with the bold area rug because again, it brings in a whole multitude of different colors to now introduce. So here we have soft grays, blue grays, a little bit of a more saturated blue, and then of course the golds and some cream undertones. So in keeping with the sophisticated look, I wanted the space to also have some natural elements. In the kitchen and family room, we went lighter with the woods, but here, a darker wood tone made sense because we are working with some existing wood elements that are also on the front door and throughout the rest of this main living area. The fireplace was a major reno. There was an existing more traditional fireplace in the faux coral stone that we see all throughout South Florida over the years. Now we wanted to modernize it with a linear electric fireplace, a beautiful mantle, some textured wallpaper, and of course the wood slats with the integrated shelves, giving it some great interest on this wall. So one of the most important things when connecting all the colors here is to kind of have continuity, but to change up some of the elements. So right off of the formal living room is a beautiful powder room that was completely renovated. And there I used some beautiful bronze tile on the vanity wall that connects a lot of these colors. Different material, it's a back painted glass, it's a blue textured vinyl wall covering and a darker wood porcelain floor to break up the cream marble that's throughout. So this is one area of the home where we actually were able to change the floor that matched the wood that's here. So every little bit of the wood in this main area all connects. These two rooms connect nicely, but there are two more spaces in this great room that also have great color continuity and design elements. And we're gonna tour through those areas next, but before we do that, let's check in with USA Windows and Doors and see what great advice they have for us today. Hi, this is John with USA Windows and Doors. And I'm Jennifer. And today we're going to show you beautiful windows that we've done to this home. Now, what's unique about this home more specifically is the master bathroom and the large picture windows in the front of the home. Now, typically when people change to impact windows and doors, they want a nice, unobstructed view. And in the master bathroom of this home, it has two windows that meet in a 90 degree corner where it leads out to a courtyard and you want to have that nice view while you're in your tub. And with impact windows, we were able to accomplish that. This homeowner wanted to keep the house cool. He doesn't want the heat to come through the house. So what we've done, we gave them a low E glass. This glass will prevent the heat from coming into the house and it will keep the temperature cool. And the results of it will be to lower down the energy bill every month. This home is part of a homeowners association, so we have to make sure that everything facing the street is the same throughout the community. And we were able to get the same grid patterns that were pre-existing to the new impact windows. As you see this window, it's still open. We, what we did here, we changed all the old wood with treated wood. This will prevent leaks in the future and we do it to all of our customers. Not only we change the wood in some areas, we replace everything all throughout the window. This is very, very important because you can have the best window in the world, but if it's installed the wrong way, and if it's not installed right, you will have leaks. 
If you're ready to upgrade your home with new impact windows, call USA Windows and Doors today. Or visit us at our website at usawindowsanddoors.com. So we talked about giving examples of continuity in design and in this home, it continues on to the dining room as well as the foyer, which is right outside this pass through. So bringing these areas, the formal living, the dining, the foyer, and the bar area together, it was really important. The marble flooring throughout the first floor was remaining. And in the dining room, we also had this beautiful wood detail that was part of the original flooring. With this color palette, it was really more about keeping it neutral in the space since the floor in this room is a big focal point. So a great tip here is that if you do want to bring a wall covering that's a little bit bolder, but you don't want to add additional color to a space, going tone on tone with the pattern is a great way to go. The table is a gorgeous, gorgeous mixture of the gold that we see in the living room, the taupes, as well as the cream. It also brings in the dark tone that we see in the wood that's in the bar that's actually right across from us. The brushed gold that we've seen throughout the kitchen, family room, and formal living room and bar continues in the dining just on the light fixture itself. And of course, we wanted to really reflect a little bit of color in the space. So there's a full wall of mirrors that actually reflect the gorgeous blue wall covering that ties it all together in the foyer. Right on the other side here in the main entryway. It's a lighter shade of the blue we're already seeing in the formal living room, which is right outside of this. So it immediately connects color now, we also wanted to connect the rest of the colors. You know, the existing gorgeous cream-colored marble accented with the gold tone. This here is a softer tone of the colors you're already seeing in the living room. The rug brings in a mixture of subtle textures in the grays and the taupes. And on this side over here, we're seeing a similar continuity of the wood finish that we see in the living room. That pop of gold, this whole beautiful area of the home lives as one space, even though it's segmented into different rooms. Coming up next, we talk design continuity with color palette in the bedroom on SoFlo Home Project. SoFlo Home Project is sponsored in part by Eldorado Furniture. Looking to refresh your home? Visit us online at eldoradofurniture.com or a showroom near you. it's always a good time to update your home and the home design and remodeling show is one great event in South Florida to get all those inspiration ideas and new products and we're here today with Adam Case the director and president of the home design and remodeling show Adam welcome thank you so much it's exciting to be here speaking with you I mean we go way back you've been a part of the shows in years past but thank you absolutely and the show is great it's such a great source for inspiration for all things home design and remodeling so why don't you give our viewers a little insight of some of the things that they might find there at the show. Yeah, I mean, it's truly a one-stop shop destination for everything home design, home improvement from custom kitchen and bath remodeling, luxury decor, appliances, wall coverings, impact windows and doors, roofing. I mean, everything that goes into really making your home your own from the bottom all the way up to outside and waterfalls and landscapes. So it's it's truly for all aspects of the home. So it sounds like you got it covered there from indoors to out, everything in between, yeah. all things home design and remodeling you could find at the show. You can see the products in a real life situation and then you can go shop not just from one company, but many companies representing all different similar types of products that cover all aspects of the home. I love that. So how do they get tickets? How do they find out more information about the upcoming show? So the easiest way is go to our website. It's homeshows.com where you can get all of the information, the schedule of events. We have hundreds of exhibitors. It's over 150,000 square feet at the Broward County Convention Center. So a lot of exciting stuff planned and that's again September 1st through 4th? Yes, 1st through the 4th and again, homeshows.com. Well, Adam, thanks for letting us know a little more about the Home Design and Remodeling Show. We appreciate having you here with us today. Thank Thanks for having me. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra, and we are continuing to tour one of my recent design projects where I am sharing with you ways to have continuity of color throughout a space and also to work with some existing design elements at home. The main bedroom is located on the other side of the living room. It has been completely updated with a soft and sophisticated style. So here in the main bedroom, 
there was also an existing floor that remained. So we chose to work with the existing wood floor. It was a beautiful solid wood that could be refinished. So we chose a new darker stain to really enhance the existing more honey colored floors. And it just gave a richness in contrast to all the other woods that were already in the house. There is a separate foyer to the main bedroom. So here we chose to keep the sort of cream tones in the wall covering and use a tone on tone floral motif on the wallpaper. Similar to the wall covering you saw in the dining, the mirror hanging on that wall brings in the blue. So again, connecting the colors without having too much color in one space. As you travel down the hall into the main bedroom, the walls here become the lighter blue. Just a softer blue, not as gray based as the living room. So as I mentioned, in every room we start with one bridge material that brings all the color story together. In here, it was the beautiful drapery. So this particular fabric had a very sort of soft geometric print that brought in our cream and our blue. And then we bought in another darker shade and lighter shade of blue to complement it all. The carpet is very soft and plush, which is exactly what you want in a bedroom. And it has a very, very subtle, again, hint of a geometric pattern. So those two geometrics play well together. Kept the bedding light, built a custom bed here, and the bone nightstands, which were custom, are absolutely my favorite piece in this room. It brings in a hint of polished nickel, a nice light wood that contrasts with the floor, and all of this detailing with the main bedroom, a hint more formal. So I connected this with the light fixture, bringing in that bit of crystal in a modernized way. Added a mirror dresser on the other side to kind of complement the crystal. We recovered some existing pieces as well, which is one of my favorite things to do when we have good bones on the furniture. We recovered the chaise in a soft, darker blue velvet to contrast with the walls and a chair and ottoman in a cream boucle, which is another popular fabric right now, and a beautiful, subtle textured look. So the last piece of furniture here that was custom made in addition to the bed was this bench, where I kept the same channeling that was in the headboard, bought it a little bit wider in scale on the base, and then did almost a winged side effect. And now here, the drapery is really the biggest part of this bedroom. It's, it takes up the most kind of wall space, so it had to be beautiful. There are many layers of the drapery. In a main bedroom, a primary bedroom, it's nice to have sort of a very soft, lush feel with the drapery and also blackout drape. I think this room came out so beautiful, but it's not the only beautiful space within this suite. We have one gorgeous bathroom that was completely renovated, and I can't wait to share that next. back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Alina Capra and we are continuing to tour one of my latest design projects here sharing with you how this home renovation project kept some existing elements and then we added a lot of new ones to create one beautiful new look. This room underwent a complete renovation. It was reconfigured a little bit to fit better with the new materials, the new tub deck and everything else, but basic layout pretty much stayed. So another quick thing I want to point out that when we were working within the existing space for the renovation, we kept the recessed sort of tray ceiling detail. Initially, it had more of a scalloped edge on all four sides, and that was a little bit more of a traditional feel. So we angled it and made it a little bit more linear in almost a hexagon-like shape, and that modernized it and also mirrors the ottoman that's right below it. And a beautiful performance velvet, perfect for a bathroom area. It just sort of adds that luxe touch of a velvet ottoman in the middle of a large space. So in here, we completely changed all the surfaces. As you enter in the bathroom, you see a beautiful wood floor that's dark. In contrast to that, we added this beautiful white porcelain in a matte finish that looks like dolomite marble. I like using the porcelain in large bathrooms like this because it's extremely durable. What we also did over here was add in some natural stone elements. So when you are using porcelain, you don't always have to put it everywhere. 
we use an actual marble on all of the countertop and tub deck surfaces. And as we talked about color continuity throughout the home, I also want to talk about sort of um, continuity of the direction of the veining in stone. Dolomite marble is typically very stripy in its appearance, a vein cut look that is called. This particular countertop is also vein cut. So those two pair together very well and it's not fighting one another. So that type of continuity is very important in this space and here it definitely was. As you can see, we also incorporated it in the shower floor, cut into a smaller mosaic on the shower sills. And now to bring in the beachy theme and a, just a hint of color, the mother of pearl mosaic kind of inlay within this tile was a very important element. This mother of pearl mosaic really brings in some shades of greens. And as we saw, we had some shades of green in the family room and kitchen. So we're kind of connecting the color story here, but still keeping the bathroom very neutral and light. So in this space, we have this beautiful crystal chandelier, which as you look down the hall, after a series of archways, you see the bedroom one right in this line. They're two different chandeliers, but they closely relate. So there's that continuity that plays in. On the walls, we have a subtle linen texture. In the ceiling up here, a metallic kind of abstract sort of a feel. I absolutely love the way this came out and I think it connects so nicely to all of the color in the main bedroom. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tour through one of my own projects and got a lot of design tips for your own renovations. Now, speaking of design inspiration, let's take a peek at what we've got planned for you next week on SoFlo Home Project. We get you inspired to add color to your decor. We go over the rules of color continuity and when to break them as we tour a beautifully updated condo. And to our viewers, we thank you for joining us this week and we hope to see you again next week for another all new episode of SoFlo Home Project right here on Local 10. And remember, there's no place like SoFlo Home. If you missed any part of this episode, or if you're looking for more design inspiration, make sure to check out all episodes online at SoFloShows.com. And don't forget to follow us on social media, on Facebook and Instagram.